the all right? first rule about table talk is that you don't talk. Yeah, about like I think we need to talk, we need no. to express that that there's no rules for table yeah. talk. Yeah. There, I mean, like there's wanna... there's one rule, and it's that there's a bowl on the table. Whether or not we choose to use it is up to our Scooch discretion. Scooch close, will you? Yeah, Get close I'd love to me. Pretend like you like me for once. <sighs> hey guys, welcome to one more exciting episode of Table Talk. It's not the last one. It is the last it's one. It's just one it's more. It's the last episode of Table Talk. It's not the last. Don't say that. You guys, don't welcome to the season finale Can of I tell Table you Talk. One time we said that, and people freaked the fuck out. Well, yeah, I'd freak out too. It's a good show. It's, I don't know. I've never seen it. You're on it sometimes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You're okay. Like You've been on it like yeah. at least once a yeah. month, I think. No, you. It's I mean, like, like fifteen times. Like for the total life of Table Talk, you've probably been on it like thirty times or more. Yeah, which is not. And the grants. Hi, I'm Elliot. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Ross Evans. This is where so, we go through topics throughout the topics, and we talk about them. How do they submit their topics? Okay. Uh, you either go to reddit.com slash slash reddit, or you go to twitter.com and use the hashtag table talk. How many J's in Shoshu Fed? I'll see you guys. I'm Josh. Yeah. Guys, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize, I because I don't I don't default to, like, it must be on table talk. So I'm at Elk Mail. And I'm just going to take a couple bites and put it down enough to get energized so I can bring you some fantastic Don't apologize. You know, I feel like, okay, no, well, there's, I don't nothing stop wrong there's nothing wrong with eating oatmeal on table talk. You're the first to do it, I think. Yeah. Is this what this Neil is the Armstrong first. like? Yeah. <laughs> I, hopefully not. Is this oatmeal? Yeah. <laughs> this, you the be... oatmeal is so good you feel like you're on the moon. No, oh, come there on, it Elliot. goes. Come on, bring I'll it back. There. Really? Because I was going to say, you could be setting a trend, and like in the <laughs> next couple... Yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, if you do this, and it's okay... This feels very okay breakfast, dude. This, is, this has now become like a family breakfast Can conversation, we... <laughs> yeah. where we kind of go over what we're... What, what are you doing for the rest of this? This is what we should do. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's fast forward a year to like a year's table talk from now, mm-hmm. and like, let's just have like a full feast here. Yeah, just like full on eating with like... But you still feel bad about it, so we're putting it down. Yeah, five course meal. Yeah. Yeah. There should um, be a chef bringing more food. The problem is like stuff. oatmeal. Like if you're, if it's in the morning and you're hungry, it's good. But any other time, it's like kind of a gross. It's gruel. It's so it's, gross. It's gruel. But not only that, like I'm watching you eat it and you're enjoying it. But I'm, Thrilled. I literally looks like you're eating a bowl of puke. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of uh, in the Matrix when they have that. Mm-hmm. What, what do you call it? Not eat, not poti wheat. That's from a book. But yeah, uh, that thing, yeah. yeah but yeah. like I always think like, oh man, that must be so good. It, it looked like mm-hmm. shredded wheat. But like the bottom of the shredded wheat bowl, uh, mixed with like milk. I got one already. He already has one. Let's go for it. I hate that you keep putting that away. You're gonna you surprise oh, oh, me. Yeah, I want you to keep it Just out. Just keep it up here, will you? It kind of it's a homey atmosphere. Okay, I got a beard hair in my mouth. Tactical beard? What the fuck? <laughs> On Twitter says, have you ever had a reoccurring dream or nightmare? I think we've done this before. I've been having um, uh, the, uh, well, I've never had, so I'm going to answer it. Okay, go well, ahead. We can move on if you want to. But <clears throat> I've, I've been having a reoccurring, night- a recurring nightmare where um, different Is it lo- reoccurring? Recurring. I think it's recurring. Recurring. Yeah. Reoccurring. I think. Uh, Re- reoccurring? It, it is reoccurring, but I think I, the word honestly, is Honestly, if you say it with enough confidence, you can get away with either yeah. one. Um, I think if it's reoccurring, then it'd be like reoccurring. Well, it's like when you talk about a sh- character on a show, you say he's a reoccurring character. No, he's also he's a recurring. 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 He's, he's recurring. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I, I've been having this reoccurring, recurring. See, now there it that. is. Uh, well, it's like it's this... an occurrence of someone. Mm-hmm. So it's like reoccurrence. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I reoccurring. Don't... Yeah. I, your logic makes sense. But I don't think that's the word. I could be wrong. Is recurring spelled R E C? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's weird. There's an O reoccurring. The oh, is there no O in reoccurring? Yeah, Let's I think it's out. just recurring. Let's find out, guys. Yeah. That's Sorry, so just cool. be a moment. Yeah, Sorry, just give guys. us one second. Yeah. Sorry, I got a bunch of tabs the windows open. Wow, so fast. Was it the iFruit app? It, are, it says recurring dreams. Yeah. Recur. Recur. To recur, to, to recur, to recur again. again. There awesome. There we go. So um, I've been having this nightmare where a different family member that you I love You didn't dies. even use the word when nope. we figured out Absolutely what it not. was. But I, the, the dream that I've been having, the nightmare that I've been having is uh, uh, plane crashes. I've been seeing, like, I'll be at the airport and I'll see my brother and uh, sister-in-law. I remember, like, very vividly, like, the plane, like, nose diving and then going like that. I remember hearing that... Uh, my grandmother, it was in a plane, uh, which is crazy. She wouldn't fly. My parents, uh, my wife. I remember what, like, in, it's like every. So I'm, I'm like cur- curious now. Curious. Recur- I'm recurious, I'm recurious now. Mm-hmm. Uh, who the next person is going to be? So I, and and then what context the plane will somehow go down? It, I don't have a fear of flying at all. It's just so it's the the same plane, different person on the plane. It's every it's a different plane. It's just always the plane. So sometimes I'm on the plane with them. Sometimes like I'm in the airport. Sometimes I hear about it on the news. Do you have a fear but, of flying? No, no, no. I just said that. Yeah. 
Uh, no, I don't. I Thanks don't for enjoy. joining us. I, I don't enjoy flying. I don't. Welcome there. to table talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm Ross Everett. No, yeah. but I think that's that's a very real fear because we have no control over what a plane right. is going to do, and I, we I've, just sit there. I have like a minor. I've like I, I'm uncomfortable with flying, yeah. but I'm not I'm not scared of it. I don't I don't get crippling anxiety. I don't get really any anxiety. I'm getting over my fear of flying. I think yeah? finally, as as a fucking 31 year old, I'm finally getting. That's over that's it. really inspiring though, because if you have a fear and you feel like you're 25 and you have a fear about something, yeah. You feel like this is my life. Well, my, well, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's true. Like my thing was is I never wanted to fly. In fact, if you had met me like ten years ago, I I was first of all a lot fatter. That's for sure. Uh, but I was also like I'm never gonna fly in my life ever. Yeah, I remember period. That. It was like a Foot year ago. Down. Yeah, 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 and it yeah. really was almost as, as. And then you went to right. Disney, which I thought was really cool. Well, Sarah, wife. my wife is she. Is, I mean, as long as we've known each other, she's always wanted to travel the world, and she's like, I'm gonna go to Europe, and I'm gonna go all over the place. And, you know, I'd love for you to come with me, but if you're not going to fly, then I'm going to travel with my mom or, like, friends yeah. or whatever, and I'm just going to do and that. And I want what you just said earlier was really good, too, because you, you said, like, if you're 25 and you have a fear of flying, you pretty much feel like you're going to have a fear of flying forever. Oh, yeah. And I feel like that happens in general, like, in our 20s. Spoiler alert for anybody not in your 20s. I feel like once you're there, like, I'm, I'm 26 now, and I feel like... What I you look great. What thanks, you man. You do look I, great. I'm really. You know what it is? Lotion. Oh really? A lot of low I've heard that moisturizing. Yeah, right? exactly. It's, it's incredibly important. Yeah. It's, it's incredibly important. important. You don't look um, a day over 11 years thank old. Thank you so much, man. That's so true. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I no, but like you, like philosophically, when you're this age, I feel like you start getting and kind of that like cementing, like okay, this is how. I'm going to be for the rest of my life. So mm -hmm. it's cool that you're, you're Yeah. Changing. Well, I didn't you well, always then. feel that way? I always felt that way. Like even in middle Maybe, school, yeah. I was like, God, like I'm I'm fat and I'm a loser. Like this is life for me. Like I think a lot yeah. of people, especially that the whole it gets better video, uh, what would you call that? Like a, a, re campaign. a regime campaign, that's the word. That video campaign was all about like, no, this is not forever. But we don't have an it gets better video campaign for people in their <laughs> <Just> 20s. <life. laughs> yeah, Steve, I mean I it gets better. It does. It does. <laughs> no, and I'm living proof of it because again, I was terrified of flying and now I'm like I'm still not very comfortable with it but I'm all I have to say my best advice for you guys is baby steps like I did a very short flight to Las Vegas as my first flight ever really filled, filled from, with babies yeah so many babies and I actually requested that because the yeah, babies terrified me job. too thank you for supporting <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no I, I uh, Vegas is like literally a 30 minute flight from Los Angeles mm -hmm. and so it's like 30 minutes in the air, what could go wrong? And in fact, anything could go wrong. Yeah. You could die for It's damn not sure. about how long you're in the air, it's about how high up you are. Yeah, exactly, I mean, but I just felt and like. And whether or not the plane yeah. is gonna go down. But yeah. for me, for my psychology and for my weird neurotic senses, I needed to feel, first of all, what it was like to take off in a plane, yeah. what it was like to be in the air in a plane, and what it was like to land in a plane. Yeah. And I feel like the easiest way to get through those as quickly as possible was to take the quickest flight possible. So for those of you out there that are afraid of flying, there probably aren't any because it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous fear, and, it's, mm -hmm. and these days it's it's even more. We weren't ridiculous. meant to fly. Every time I get on a plane, I'm like, mm -mm. yeah, you're right. This is a technology that was created by like people, but that way but, long time mm -hmm. ago. But it's amazing. It's science. Like it's it, flying is safer than driving. Apparently, mm -hmm. well, yeah. I mean, for traffic reasons alone, if you count the sheer number of. Uh, probably people that should not be licensed in cars. Yeah, uh, it's far inferior to well, the also the that sheer number be of in people vining while driving. Oh right? yeah, you're you're most of them. <laughs> Don't vine <laughs> yeah. and drive. Uh, but no, now now for me, like next year, I'm flying to the UK. I'm flying to London. Like I'm actually going to London, and that's like a ten hour God, flight. Dude, it's been so good knowing you. No, Elliot. Mean. <laughs> no. Really mean. You're no. getting over this fear? No, it's, poke it's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming back. No. It'll, be another, really it'll be another 30 years, London. You'll see him when he's 60. <laughs> Sorry, London. Yeah. You almost had 30 uh, years. Then. Almost. So close. All right. That, that was oh, wait, we almost talked about, I want to talk more about your dreams. Oh, I dreams. Get more yeah, yeah. I had a dream the other night. I've talked about my reoccurring dream before where I'm stuck in the murder. Recurring. We decided Okay, this. fine. Recurring. Cut. Webster Roll it back. Yeah, and you know what? Fuck that guy. Because where is he now? That's a great question. He's right? Dead. Yeah. And he don't know nothing right now. No, he doesn't. He, lo he knows literally nothing. I know, he but he's cataloged nothing. all of his information, so he doesn't need to know anything. Yeah, was but it his, though, or was it our information? That oh, he, he, he collected it. He was a great editor. Yeah, but does Webster know list. that they're adding Editors bullshit? Editors are important. No, I think Webster's lolling in his grave right now. Yeah, Webster, they're <laughs> adding <laughs> shit like selfie into the fucking I'm so Webster happy dictionary. that that didn't go over everyone's head. 
But yes. Hey. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Back to you. <laughs> so I've talked about my reoccurring dream where I'm, st- where I'm stuck in a closed Mervins, recurring, where I'm stuck in a Mervins, and there's a <laughs> doll chasing me and a, a mannequin. But I had a dream the other night. That was crazy. I had to write it all down, and I've got, like, paragraphs of this shit. And so, basically, my father and I were murdered. And You uh, died in your dream? Before? I died in my dream. It was crazy. I became a ghost. Whoa, and dude. It was so cool. And I was, like, fucking pissed. I went over to the guy as a ghost, and I'm screaming in his face, I'm going to haunt you. I'm going to fucking get you, dude. I'm going to kill you. Like, you fucking killed me. I'm going to haunt your ass forever. You'll see. Shit's going to knock off your cupboards, and you're not going to know what it is. And it's me. Like, it's me. Jack Black? Jack, <laughs> <laughs> Jack like, Black so, is the haunting. But here's the cool yeah, thing. Yeah, dude. I we are going to haunt the fuck out of you. <laughs> and we're going to be like, hey, we're going to haunt him. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, uh. <laughs> uh, but no, I uh, I screamed so loud at him that he started to like kind of hear it. And so he's like, oh my God, the ghost of the guy I killed is probably alive. So he starts running off. And then I start chasing him. And then these people come down from the heavens and they're like, we're taking you out. You can't be a ghost. And I'm like, <laughs> you got to let me do this, man, because I got to chase this guy. I got to make this right. I've got to get revenge. And they're like, is this about revenge, Steve? Or is this about justice? This is super wild. I know. Isn't it's that a, you know like, a, like a Scooby-Doo episode? I yeah. know. It was really cool. Well, you and know I, what's crazy is that that all actually exists up yeah. there. In that here. Kind of yeah. depth and wisdom exists up there. And conflict yeah. and resolution It was and really, really cool and really <laughs> real. And then the guy was like, I'll let you decide and I'll come back. And so I was like, what? And so he leaves. And I'm here thinking like, Am I going to do the right thing and just let it happen and try to help people solve the case? Or am I going to go try to murder this guy as a ghost and get revenge that way? So, like, a friend, like, some kid off the street can actually see me. Dude, that's, like, it's that's one it's of the Casper. craziest dreams. It's the I know, it's so Casper. cool. It's like, people think, like, crazy dreams and they're always like, my feet got glued, we're, yeah. you know, boats. Oh, we're and swimming like, in ketchup. Way. But, like, <laughs> the weird dreams are the ones where you actually have these, like, yeah. hot, like these moral, like, these morality plays. It was really, really cool. Like, no one could see me but this kid could see me and he comes over and he's like hey like what's going on i was like oh my god you can see me you gotta help me <laughs> then they sat down and watched the muppets together for three hours <laughs> and that was the rest of the dream no but can i tell you what i did yeah. i did go and try to fondle a girl's breasts as a uh-huh. ghost because i was like come on I gotta dude try that's it. really that's you're really getting us in was there. this an eight hour dream it was it felt like it steve it pro- slept for a week it was yeah. probably only well, no, in, in dreams i've noticed that there is no time because a lot of the the time in dreams you cut out the travel it's like oh we're going somewhere here Right, right. Yeah. You know, you just show up. So, but the, you remember the travel. It's weird. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, yeah, they you say, can, you yeah. can formulate time like, oh, I have a memory of the thing that happened, but it never actually right. happened. You guys so want to know strange. something really philosophical and deep about that? Yeah. They say like a dream that may last like a couple of weeks could really only last like a minute or even 30 seconds. Yeah. In your brain. And yeah. they say that when you die, you kind of get that. Just before you die, like you get like a big dream. And some people say that's where the idea of heaven came from because it was like a dream, but it was only like a couple of seconds before you die. But it just feels like hmm. eternity. It felt like eternity. How do you know that, how do they know that that's what's happening? The because they talk to ghosts. I got it. That were like, yeah, bro. The greatest dream in the There's a lot more to that dream, by the way. I grabbed the girl's breast, and it worked. It was like in Hollow Man. Remember when, like, you could see the indentations of the dude's hand on the girl's naked dick? Oh, dude, I loved Hollow Man. Yeah, it was shit. Yeah, it was. It was so bad. But I love that movie when it came out. Like, I, I watched all the behind the scenes on the DVD <laughs> of, like, he wore different colored suits depending on the different uh, places they were filming it. Sure. Really sure cool. He did. I highly but recommend By the way, after I was able to grab a woman's breasts and actually feel them, and she was like, What's happening to my breasts? I was like, I can maybe get used to being a ghost. Dude, I'm going to spook you. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 Okay, you. Uh, sorry, no. I just I love the idea of the entire day we'll talk being about. Well, dreams. this is kind dreams of dreams fascinate me. The dreams so are great. Cool. Yeah. Kind of. A, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll get Did you guys know that there's right. tools out one. there? Did you guys one. know that there's tools out there to to help lucidity? Like, oh there's, yeah. There's like masks. They're called like REM masks. Oh really? Very cool stuff. I've looked into this. There was actually a Kickstarter recently. You could buy these things. I think it was called Remy or something. And it basically what it does is is it has these LED lights. And they blink in like a random fashion, and you can kind of like create your own um, sequences. 
is, and I'll explain why that's necessary later. But basically, when you're going to sleep, when you go into REM, your eyes start to like move around, uh -huh. and if there's something yeah. to focus on, you can actively uh, wake up your consciousness and keep your body wow. asleep, and that's what slips you into the. Do you lucid still dream. get a restful sleep? I have a friend that yeah, does yeah. nothing but lucid dream, and she's like, I don't, I don't sleep that well. I don't feel rested when I wake up. Well, I mean, that's the thing. You, and yeah. that's another idea of lucidity is you can you you can't keep that like you want to be lucid all the time because it's like this perfect place basically but you're not getting enough sleep and stuff you kind of have to uh, it's one of those things that line. i think that the human being wants the human brain wants to be in control but it's actually good for us and i think we grow yeah, when we're not in control. guys neuroscience is such a new science like the th researching the human brain like well, it, knowing story, about the human brain we did a story on SourceFed like uh, yesterday about a guy who discovered and it, it happened a few years ago because he's now coming out with a book about it but he discovered he like found Files of his brain scan, and he found a missing chunk of it that was related to uh, to psychopathy. So and he's, a, he's a, a sociopath, psychopath. and he didn't realize he's sociopath psychopath. or psychopath. Wow! He, and he lacks empathy. He lacks social interact. He lacks any sort of uh, the ability wow. to love. And he he found this file. Doesn't he have a family? And uh, I don't think he does. Okay. But he um he has he has an extended family, I think. And uh, he he studies this, and he didn't know it was his. And he's looking at these brain uh, scans. He or didn't whatever. know it was his. And My he, God! Directed yeah, by M Night Shyamalan. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And he finds or by someone him. better because we want and, it to be good. <laughs> yeah. But not only that, he's related to seven axe murderers. Oh my uh, god. Or, sorry, seven murderers. Wow. One of them one is, I murderer. forget her name, seven murderers, one axe murderer. Yeah. Uh, li Lizzie Lily Borden? Borden. Whoa. Lizzie Borden. Yeah. Lizzie, Lizzie Borden, Borden yeah. took an axe, who, gave her mother axe, 40 wax. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And uh, he's a descendant of her. Finds out he is also a psychopath, and it's all this like nature versus nurture. Oh, sorry, so, Jim so Carrey. Are they saying that? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so they're saying the idea of 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 like being psych psychotic is possibly genetic. Well, it's possibly it's nature it is genetic, versus nurture, but, it's, but he's it's not a psychopath. He, or he hasn't. Yeah, exactly. So but he's the, a psychopath, but he he can behave within the confines of societal norms because so it's like Dexter. he says God, he was Sorry, loved. Michael C. Hall. Yeah, it's exactly. Dexter. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is Dexter because well, well, has Dexter he killed anyone? He probably hasn't killed yeah, anyone. Yeah, Dexter didn't. But See, he says that he like he's he's a jerk. He says he like he can't let kids win games like one on one. He I think we know people like that. Oh we know Steve. people like that. <laughs> is it you? No, I can let kids win oh, games okay. because I don't want to be anywhere near them. Yeah, <laughs> you're like win and get away from me. <laughs> Yeah, they'll they'll they win their games on their own. Oh, it's like it's when you say that like kind of truth. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. I could beat him if I wanted. I just don't want to be there. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, like I don't know if in our lifetime we're really gonna experience like you, you three, us three here will experience like the the intricacies of of where all these studies are going to lead right. because there's so much to unlock in the well, human brain. It's, it's you know? a two it's a two way street too because like you were saying with society the way it is, society is a product of what we have made. It and we can sit here and like focus on like neuroscience and all that, but at the same time, you have to like focus on other people yeah. and like showing love and emitting love. Otherwise, Not if society you're a will just well, exactly. Yeah, then you got a problem. Doctor. But otherwise, society will crumble and we won't get a chance to experience the, the benefits of science. People harp so much on loving science and they don't harp enough on actually loving people that what's going to happen is one day one's going to win out over the other and it won't matter how many benefits we have yeah, because it won't be worth being. Have you, you, you have ever, to think about how, uh, what, what were you going to say? I was just going to say like, like I t agree with this whole idea that we really love knowledge and we love this pursuit of knowledge because we almost, I mean like my my perception is that people tend to view this as a race to who could be the smartest and the best. Right. But no one's like, well, at least no one in LA or in my inner mm -hmm. circle is like, I'm gonna focus on being on, on loving people right. the most and like letting you know how special you are. You're talking about hippies? And letting we're gonna call them hippies. Or good humans. Yeah. Well, I, but yeah, it's well, that's, hippies are that's, actually very I mean the traditional hippie is more kind of do pleasure and experience pleasure. You know, it's and, all about love, man. Like, like, but like love, but like when when's the last time that we all got together? Because like we'll get together, we'll go to a class, we'll try and learn more, we'll teach each other things, we'll study. But when's the last time you ever got together with a close group of people that you're comfortable around and just focused yeah. on loving them? When there's 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 not in like a sexual or physical way, but just like expressing and not to, to them how much how much they mean to you, making them feel good. Right, and like not to get like too deep there, but yeah, I totally 
totally yeah. agree. And uh, there's like there's this idea of like multiple like infinities, especially when you look at numbers. So like you have the infinity that like goes to like the number infinity, yeah. like one through ten through a billion or whatever. But there's also the infinity that happens between two numbers, like on a on a decimal yeah. level. Like you can't ever know, separate. But, I, but it's the same thing in life, I think, where you have the infinity of knowledge that science presents, but you also have an infinity within individual interactions that we seem to not be exploring as much because of a focus on the other one. And that's the thing. And that's why I feel like there it, there should be a nice balance between like the people that focus on love and humanity and the personal organic things and the people focusing on the sciences and the very important things because I don't know I'm gonna throw this number out there but I'm pretty sure it was a hundred years ago maybe more maybe less that we truly thought psychological disorders anxieties were demons living in your brain and in order to get rid of it you, you had to be exercised. you had to draw you had to fucking oh, drill a yeah. hole into yeah. your head and let a demon crawl out and that's what people thought multiple personality disorders mm -hmm. were and anxiety disorders were and if and we they invented the lobotomy if we hadn't focused on neuroscience and psychology and things like that imagine where we'd be today thinking that these people are witches burn this person because See, at one in one moment they're a good nice person and at another moment they're an evil person and a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type thing, even though it's psychology, but burn them because we don't understand. I, I would submit, though, that there's a different... I, I agree with most of what you're saying, but I think what you're saying is there's room for the people who focus on this and there's room for the people who focus on this. I think there's enough room in each individual person to focus on both. So it's not about one person focusing on science because what happens is whether it's in the world of science, whether it's in the world of video games or art or pop culture, you have heroes that, that are created and those take the attention, like the Transformers or whatever. So people see that and they aspire to to it. Uh, and what happens if you follow that kind of mentality of there's th those people and these people is the people who go out and they do, they live on like the underbelly and they help others and they love others, they don't become icons because they're too busy helping other people right. and the examples aren't there. But if we have more people that are were examples bo in both fields, mm -hmm. whether it's, and I'm not saying take everything and make it a platform or anything like that, but like have that sort of dichotomy between people, then you would have people looking at other people and being like, okay, so this person is into science, they're learning things, they're advancing the human race or whatever, but they're also taking time and making sure that they're not defined by that. And I okay. want to be just like that. I think you might be asking too much of, of the individual, but it would be it, great. I don't think you're asking. I think you're just basically saying that there's the capacity for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, I think so I, too. I think I am asking too much. Yeah. I think yeah. it's a constant struggle, which is why I think that... Well, yeah. people have to kind of arrive to that conclusion on their own to really... It's a very individualized thing to decide that you want to start exploring and more, I guess, balancing your life out. There's this, there's this uh, a part of Buddhism that I really love. It's called the Middle Way. Uh, mm -hmm. If it's Buddhism or Taoism, I, I totally forget. I haven't studied this stuff since high school. But is it it's the idea. It's it's Dianetics and Scientology. Uh, it's not that. Um, but it's it's the <laughs> idea that there's there's the uh, uh, when you have the the s surplus, and then there's the idea of not having enough. The deficit. And you have to the deficit. You have to find that middle way. You have to balance your life. You could focus all of your life on, like you said, like going in that underbelly and saving those people, and not enough on kind of collecting the recognition you'll find it to be a very thankless job. Mm -hmm. So you need to find that nice balance between the two of them in everything, whether it's saving people's lives, whether it's being like playing video games or indulging yourself in your hobbies. Like if you love something and, and it turns into like your entire life, you're gonna lose your love for it. And you need to find that balance. Which brings us to a great final and last point, which is religion, most of them have great ideas in them, but it's the people that fuck it up. Every <laughs> day. Thank you guys so much for watching yeah. Table yeah. Talk. Uh, and if you wanna submit topics for the ball. Or topic. <laughs> yeah. Or topic. Uh, oh, nice hit, baby. I'm getting better, man. Wow, that was very warm. You if guys, you guys want to submit topics into the Table Talk Bowl, you can use the hashtag Table Talk on Twitter, or you can go to the subreddit r slash SourceFed on Reddit. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Ross Everett. Tell us your crazy dreams down there, too. Yeah, tell us baby. your like crazy dreams. dreams. Yeah. I don't know if that, I mean... Lucid dreams that's are, the, yeah. That's if you crazy. could, I mean, I yeah, that that really lets you into someone's. Psyche. I mean, I started it off with a really good feel-good note about all of my loved ones dying in plane crashes. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs>